Welcome to the Troxus family. As a new user, we want to make sure that you have the best experience possible. Our team has put together some easy to follow instructions to guide you through the process of putting your new bike together. We recommend that you read these thoroughly and follow the instructions step by step. But if you have any questions along the way, don't hesitate to call us for assistance. We're excited for you to start using our product and hope that it meets all of your needs and expectations. Let's get started. Once you've gotten your box, check it and make sure there's no damage or severe damage to the box. Minor damage is fine, but if there's severe damage to the box, make sure to reject it. Keep the box for about 15 days, just in case you need any returns or exchanges. Make sure that the picture on the front of the box is oriented the correct way. This is the same orientation that your bike has inside of the box. When moving the box, make sure to have a friend assist you to avoid damage or injury. Once you've taken the bike out of the box, take a picture so that you have this as a record if you need to pack and transport the bike later. There will be some smaller boxes. Those are going to contain the tools, the materials, and the charger. Inside of the materials box, you'll have your instruction manual, pedals, tools, and bike grease to use for lubricating anything on the bike that needs it. Inside the charger box, you will find the charger and the power cord. Remove the zip ties and the packing material. Remove the front fork protection rod. Remove the derailleur protector from the back wheel. Remove the left and right protective sleeves from the front wheel and from the front fork. We recommend that you assemble things in the following order. The wheel, the handlebars, the fender, the front lights, and then the pedals. You can assemble these in any order you want. The tools required to assemble this are the number 13 and 15 wrench, a number 10 wrench, and the Allen wrench. It's important to note that the screws should turn easily. If they're not turning easily, remove and reinstall the screws. Remove the screws and washers from the front wheel. Make sure that the rotor is on the left side of the bike. Insert the front wheel into the fork correctly. Install the washers with the pattern facing the inside of the bike. Tighten the washers with the wrench. Use the Allen wrench to remove the four screws on the handlebar stem. Place the handlebar on the handlebar stem, reinstall the cover, and tighten the four screws. When tightening the screws, make sure to tighten them in a cross pattern. Fender and the light, we're going to loosen the three support screws. One of them is on the top of the wheel, the right side of the wheel, and the left side of the wheel. Once you have the fender oriented correctly, attach the supports to the support mount and tighten the screws. When you're attaching the fender to the top support, attach the light as well. When installing the pedals, you're gonna see that one has a sticker with an R on it and one with an L on it. The R is for the right side and you're gonna tighten that one clockwise. The L on the left side is going to tighten counterclockwise. To charge your bike, you're gonna take the charger plug and plug it into the charger socket on the battery. When charging, you don't have to have the battery on the bike. You can remove it by taking the key and turning it, and then releasing the lever to let the battery pop out. To install the battery, turn the key, and then gently put the battery into place. You'll find the battery keys attached to the handle. If you don't find the battery keys, contact support. Use the power button to turn the system on and off. Hold the power button to turn the system on. The lighting button is going to turn the e-bike light on and off. 
press the plus and minus buttons briefly to switch between the five levels of pedal assist. The throttle control is on the handlebar. Note that zero level is a non-assist mode with no pedal assistance. Once you power on the e-bike, the display will turn on, showing real-time speed and single trip distance by default. Press the I button briefly to switch between single trip distance, total distance, average speed, maximum speed, and riding power. With the pedal assist at one, press and hold the minus button to activate push assistance. Release the minus button to deactivate. The brakes are on the left and right handlebars. Congratulations on completing the installation. Now it's time to hit the road and enjoy your ride. We hope our guide was helpful to make your installation smooth. Make sure to follow all safety guidelines and wear protective gear. Don't forget to follow us on YouTube and social media to stay up to date on the latest content and promotions. We're always adding tips and tricks to help you expand your playground and get the most out of your ride. Thanks for choosing Troxus. Enjoy your ride.